Hey, this is Presh Tullwalker, and you're watching Mind Your Decisions. Here's a fun geometry problem from Indonesia. Inside rectangle ABCD, there are right triangles AED and BFC as shown in the picture. Note that point F is located along DE. If AE is equal to 7, ED is equal to 24, and BF is equal to 15, what is the length of AB? I thank Raul from Indonesia for sending me this problem. Can you figure it out? Give this problem a try, and when you're ready, keep watching the video for a solution. So before I go over a solution, I want to admit that this problem stumped me for a long time. So here are some of the things I tried before I could figure it out. I first considered the altitude lengths of these triangles. While I could figure out the lengths of these altitudes, I then saw that there would be overlap between the altitudes, so that would not lead to the length of AB. I then considered extending other lines in the diagram, but no matter what I tried, I couldn't figure out how this would lead me to the length of AB. So at this point, I was pretty frustrated and I was stuck. I started searching for similar problems online, and I still couldn't find anything. So I was about to submit this problem to a forum to ask for some help. And I'll mention, that if everyone tried this hard, I'd get much fewer emails asking for help, especially for well-known math results. People often email me thinking that math problems are easy, but even for me, I usually have to try many different methods to figure out a problem, unless I already know it. But usually I have to go through all of these steps. So I was about to give up, and then finally it struck me. Huzzah! I realized a way to solve the problem. So let me go over the solution step by step. The first thing is we'll figure out the length of AD. Since AED is a right triangle and AD is the hypotenuse, we can solve for its length using the Pythagorean theorem. AD is equal to the square root of the quantity 7 squared plus 24 squared, which simplifies to be 25. You might also remember this because AED is a special right triangle if you have legs 7 and 24, the hypotenuse will be 25. Next, we'll have that BC is the opposite side of the rectangle, so BC is equal to AD is equal to 25. Now, we'll solve for the other leg of BFC. CF is equal to the square root of the quantity 25 squared minus 15 squared, and that simplifies to be 20. You could also do this because you would notice that BFC is a 5 times scaled version of a special 3, 4, 5 right triangle. So that would simplify the calculation a little bit. But either way, we have that CF is equal to 20. Now, we'll draw altitude GF in triangle BFC. By similar triangles, the ratio of the shorter leg of this right triangle to the hypotenuse is a constant. So we have the following ratios. The altitude GF to the hypotenuse of 20 is equal to the shorter leg of 15 in the larger triangle to the hypotenuse of 25. In other words, in this smaller triangle, we have GF to its hypotenuse of 20 is equal to, in this larger triangle, the shorter side of 15 to the hypotenuse of 25. So we can then solve that GF is equal to 12. Now what we'll do is we'll solve for CG, which is equal to 20 squared minus 12 squared, and we take the square root of the whole thing to get that CG is equal to 16. Now another way that we could do this, instead of using the Pythagorean theorem, is we could have noticed that CGF is a 4 times scaled version of a special 3, 4, 5 right triangle but either way, we get that CG is equal to 16. This means that BG is equal to 25 minus 16, which is equal to 9. Now, 
The key to this whole problem is to think inside the box. We'll draw FH to be perpendicular to AD. Now notice that HD is equal to GC, which is equal to 16. Now in this triangle AED, we've also created some similar triangles. By similar triangles, notice that the shorter leg of the triangle to the longer leg is a constant ratio. So we have the following. In the smaller triangle, the shorter leg of HF to its longer leg of 16 is equal to, in this triangle, the shorter leg of 7 to the longer leg of 24. We can use this equation to solve that HF is equal to 14 over 3. So now, HG is equal to 14 over 3 plus 12, which is equal to 50 over 3. And notice this is exactly equal to AB because AB is equal to HG. Therefore, AB is equal to 50 over 3. I was stuck at first, but I kept trying and I did not give up. So sometimes the key is to think inside of the box. Did you figure it out? Thanks for watching this video. These math videos inspire and build confidence for people around the world, and they've already gotten over a hundred million views. But the math meaties never praise these videos, and they always spread their negativity. Let's be extra positive to cancel them out. Please help by subscribing for free to get the newest videos on this channel. Please also watch and share all of Mind Your Decisions videos. That's the greatest way for people to learn and discover this channel. You can also email me a puzzle or math topic, presh at mindyourdecisions.com. And if you so choose, you can support this channel financially by checking out my books, which are linked in the video description, or supporting me on Patreon to earn exclusive rewards. Thanks for watching and thanks for your support.